Hi guys! Welcome back to another video. My hair is like just crazy today, so ignore it. We're gonna ignore it. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning here. But I got a little uh, GameStop haul. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, woo! -hoo. Now, I went in with a limit. <laughs> I had a gift card. I had a gift card for $50. Thank you to my amazing brother-in-law and his amazing wife. So kudos to them. Um, also love the socks they got me. If you guys want to see the socks, let me know. I won't put them on my feet. Like I don't I don't want to play that game, but I'll like post a picture somewhere of like the amazing cool like nerdy socks they got me. Um, but I had like $50 to spend and I went over. I have a problem. Um, I also have my mask in here. By the way, if you don't go, if you leave in your house, wear masks. Be responsible. Anyways, how much did I spend? Um, dun 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 dun. That's my points. That's not how much I spent. So, I had a $5 coupon or something on my account, or like a $5 like thingy mabob on my account. So I used that. And so it brought it down to like $72.36 which then I used my gift card for $50 so I essentially just spent $22.36 because again I, I, I just lose control in that store let me tell you but I will say, you guys are probably thinking, like, this is a small bag. Where is the losing control? I don't see it. They had nothing in my store. My store is very small. I live in a very small town, so not a whole lot goes to that store, if that makes sense. But, like, it's Christmas is over. Everyone that got gift cards probably already spent them by now. Um, I was struggling, and I mean struggling to buy even like one or two things from GameStop on the site because I was like, I'll just spend it online and make it like easier for myself because I'll be able to buy whatever I want. And then I got on their site and it was like, not available, not available, not available, not available, blah, 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 blah. Like, almost everything was like out. And I was like, let's just go to the store because I have a better feeling that like, I'll find something at the store versus online and when we went to the store it was basically the same like <laughs> there was very little there um so let's go with this do we I'm trying to think do we do big item or small item let's do big item last but let's let me go ahead and grab these aren't these are gonna be like something I want to open last so if you guys don't know I'm like a- I like really like The Office. I've watched it like more than once. Like all the way through, like more than once for sure. I really like The Office. And I didn't know that they had pops. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to have it. Um, this kind of reminds me of my Gremlin uh, gizmo purchase. It wasn't like the actual gizmo pop. But I didn't know that they had them, so once I saw it, I had to have it kind of thing. Um, so I have Prison Mike from the office here. Look, see, Prison Mike. It's supposed to be a keychain. This camera is not focusing, I feel like. Oh, well, you guys can see it. It's Prison Mike from the office. And I was like, I have to have it, so I got it. Again, I for me like this will never leave the box like I'll show you guys some other things after that aren't part of this haul that I bought and they've never left the box um literally I'm just that type of person depending on what it is now the rest of this except for this big item that I'm gonna wait for last will be opened for sure um so I went ahead I grabbed like the only pr I grabbed pretty much only like all the Pokemon cards they had. They had quite a bit of these, so I only grabbed three of them. Um, but it these are just Pokemon cards. Um, I tried to grab like three different ones, but basically this one is Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage, which looks like this. 
My computer is not doing me any justice here. There we go. And then, hi, welcome back to Focusing on Me. This one's another Vivid vo Voltage, but it's got that little guy on there. And yes, I'm a Pokemon fan, but I'm like super big into Gen 1, by the way. Like, Gen 1's usually my go-to, just so you guys know. And then this one is uh, Guardians Rising Sun and Moon. There you go. So those are the Pokemon cards, so we're going to go ahead and open these. And yes, I'm not somebody that just buys cards and doesn't open them. And you're, like, you guys don't know how hard it was. I bought this all yesterday, and usually I open this stuff, like, immediately. Uh, immediately. Um, so, like, it was a struggle. I wanted to open this, like, as soon as possible. Um... Also, I was watching somebody else do this. Um, they were like saying there's this fancy way of showing Pokemon cards when you do YouTube videos. But they didn't say like what it was. Like you take the first three, I think. Oh my goodness. Usually I can get these to open so very well for me. It's going to be today that, you know. Okay, there it goes. Um, but you take the first three and put them at the back? I don't know. If you know what the, like, super, you know, fancy way of showing Pokemon cards on YouTube is, let me know. Okay, so this is what the little package thing looked like. There you go. Okay. We got C dot. There we go, kind of. I'm hoping to get a better camera, so we'll see how this goes in the future. But that's C dot. Okay, I don't know how to explain say this one, but ignore me just butchering all the names, okay? I'm sure y'all have one Pokemon name or multiple you can't say. Picky Peck, which kind of looks adorable, not gonna lie. And sorry, it's really hard for me to hold things still, which is probably why my camera doesn't, or my webcam doesn't want to focus. Okay, there it goes. Focus on it that much. Mudbray. Just this guy. Maybe. There we go. Uh, Joltik. Which I don't know why it makes me think of. Um, Jolteon, even though it looks nothing like it and probably has nothing to do with it. Will you just focus? Okay, whatever. I try. Okay, we're trying. This is Weedle! We know Weedle. There we go. Again, I'm really trying to- okay, this is supposed to be the, like, Shiny, uh, card? <laughs> Shiny card. I'm, like, so bad at, like, explaining what these things are. Which is funny because I'm a huge Pokemon fan and I actually have a shit ton of cards. Um, just so you know, I'm gonna be doing another video where I organize my cards because they're a fucking mess. Judge me kindly. But this one is Tynamo. Which, if you can kind of see, it's got the, like, you know... And somebody's gonna be telling me I'm holding these wrong. I'm not somebody that's like that collects these to make any sort of money off of them. Um, not that way at all. Then we got this guy, Samurai, which kind of looks cool. Not gonna lie. Maybe, maybe not. Let me just shove it in my webcam's face. Okay. This isn't going well. Yeah. Oh well. I tried. And then we got the energy card. Which looks like this. If you've opened Pokemon cards, you know what they look like. So I'll try to skip those and not make you look at them. Um. Electric. 
which looks like that. Again, sorry, my, I struggle to hold anything, like, still. Ah! You guys know this guy, if you're Gen 1. Kikuna. I believe that's Gen 1. Because I think he turns into Beedrill. And then Loudred. Just this guy. And that's the first pack. That is the first pack. Okay. Let's go ahead and start opening this pack. an easy way of just opening these for me. It's really not fucked up hands friendly. <laughs> like at all. Because my hands are so messed up. try to be quiet when I open the packages just so you guys can enjoy the crackling of whatever this is and enjoy I guess some ASMR or whatnot. Okay, the so this one is the Alon Alonian uh Vulpix or Alonian. I don't again, I don't know. It's not it's not Gen 1 but Gen 1. It's a Vulpix, but it's like a blue icy one. Okay. Um, I'm gonna also try not to get the camera to focus because like I said, it's- my hand shakes so like me trying to hold something and shake it's just not gonna work well. Anyways, um, build them. Which looks like that. Um, Patil? Patelli? Patil? Which looks like that. Again, I'm so sorry about it not focusing, but it's okay. Fletching, which looks like a robin, I don't know why, to me. Malonian Geodude, Geodude. And then this one's the like really, um, oh we got two, okay. The foil, that's what I'm thinking of, foil. So we get this kind of like foil kind of going. And this is a Whalemar, I feel like. Whaley, whale, Whalemar? I don't know. Again, I, I never said that I was good at pronouncing pronouncing Pokemon. And then this one's also uh, got some foil going on, and it's called Gudra. And you can see the, the foil there. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. And then we got another energy card, which I told you I'm not going to bother showing you guys. Um, lamp, Lampent? Oh, I really wish it would focus. This is why I want a new camera. To do these videos at least. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> Tentacruel! Again, every time I see like a Gen 1, I'm just going to flip shit. This is Tentacruel. I wonder if I put like my hand behind it. <laughs> no. I tried. And then we got a Max Potion type of trainer card. And that is this pack. So the, that one foil card. This one was pretty cool, not gonna lie. That was probably, this one's probably my favorite so far of both packs. Um, and I just opened that one, so let's go ahead and open this one. 
Also, let me guys, let me know if you like this video. And, oh my goodness, the glue on this, like holy crap. If you like this video and you want more of these, I'm down to do all sorts of stuff. Um, hopefully I'll get a better camera to do focusing uh, better. Oh, I like the package on this one because it's a giant Pikachu. Love it. Okay. We gotta get that ASMR in. So... Also, I have no idea what ASMR is. I kind of know what it is, but like I'm an idiot, so that's probably not even ASMR for you guys. But anyways, okay. Cottony, cottony. Looks cute. Arokuda, Arokuda. It's like a little happy little fish guy. Ooh, that focused really well for a second. And then my hand twitched. <laughs> um, Nikita? Nikita? And then we got another uh, Peaky Peaky Pack, which is the same looking one that we had in the first pack. Uh, Poochiena? this guy and no it's not foil it's just my uh, PC lights reflecting on it and then on I don't know if anybody else feels like this is unfortunate or whatnot but I really feel horrible when I get a like a, a I just had this word the other day uh, or not the other day foil earlier uh, when you get the same card twice and one of them is your foil, we just got that Arokuda guy and the same like art on it and it's a foil. You guys see it? Do you ever feel like you got scammed when you get the same card? Like literally, hang on. Let me grab this guy. When you get the legit same card but one's a foil, so here's the foil. Uh, it's just the normal. Anybody else feel like you got scammed there? Or is that just me? Let me know what you guys think. Not that it's a scam, but you know what I mean. And then we got a cool little Pikachu card. Um, that's also foil. And it's Pikachu with the big giant V. Which I'm not sure if it means 5 or voltage. But you know, whatever. And then we got another energy card, which I told you I wasn't going to show you, because you know what those look like. Zub Substrika, which actually looks pretty cool. I forgot how amazing Pokemon could look, mainly because I haven't played it so long. Dusclops. Which I always thought, like, I know this came out before, I believe before the Zelda came, games came out, but Dusclops looks like a Zelda game villain. Like, one of the mobs you would fight, you know what I mean? I don't know if you guys can imagine it. I think it's in Breath of the Wild that I'm thinking of. I don't know, you guys let me know if you guys can picture what I'm talking about. And then we got a trainer card, which is beauty. But that's this pack. So yay! I actually have to say that last foil card in the last pack that I said was my favorite in that pack, this one has to be my favorite in this one. The Pikachu. Like, just look at how cool that looks. Okay, I'm just saying. Okay, so those were all the three, like, small individual packs that I bought. Then we have a tin. I'm trying to make sure that doesn't fall. Then we have a giant 
tin that I bought, which has Gyarados on the front. Again, I'm, I really like Gen 1. And there's Charizard right here. Um, there's Gyarados on the bottom again. There is Raichu there. I don't think there's anything on the top because it's a sticker. And this is going to be fun because I forgot to grab any sort of like thing to cut this open. See if I can get my nails to do it. This is going to be a little bit of a struggle because I just cut them. Jeez, come on. Like I'm actually like moving the plastic at this point. No. Okay, there we go, a tour. Somewhatly. There we go. Yep, it just says Hidden Fates trading cards. So, I'm gonna throw that over there. And I also keep the tins and anything that like I get. Um, I'm just that type of person, okay? I just like it all. thought that was gonna go a lot smoother okay and then it has this card in the little I'm gonna actually keep it in here um, but it's a foiled Gyarados which oh god it looks just so cool it just looks badass okay it really does so I'm gonna leave that right there and we got, oh my goodness, I didn't actually pay attention to how many packs were in here, but I only thought there was going to be one, so now I'm shocked that there's more. We got more to go through, guys. Yay! Um, I'm actually going to put this back in the tin so I don't lose anything and cry about it when I lose it. I don't know why I thought there was only going to be one, to be honest. Okay. Now that the tin's closed, we have Hidden Fates cards to go through, and oh, they're all like looking like Gen 1, kind of Gen 1 ones. Here's the uh, Charman or Charizard, and Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno on this guy. I don't know if you guys can see Articuno because it's blue, but you know. We got Mew, which is so cute. And then we have Mewtwo, which is looking badass. Okay, let's go through this one. We have literally already 23 minutes long. Holy shit. My heart. I love getting Gen 1 Pokemon cards. I just, if you have a favorite gen then maybe you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, like, sorry. I love Gen 1. So we got Eevee. Oh my god, if this is all Gen 1 I'm gonna be so happy. We got Eevee here. So cute. We've got Caterpie or Caterpie, however way you want to say it. So cute. Um, Paras. Oh my goodness. This is just making me so happy. This is making me so happy. Ekans. Psyduck. Okay, this one's not Gen 1, but I'm not even mad at it because the first good couple were Gen 1. Um, Buzz Wool, which I can't even like, this has got so much going on. It's a foiled card, um, but it's got so much going on that it's actually confusing me. <laughs> Do you ever like have one of those cards? Like look, it just looks so pretty. Just like the colors of everything. But this one's Buzz Wool. And then this is a, <laughs> this is another foil, but it's a trainer foil. And it's Misty's Water Command. Which, there you go. Foiled. Foil, foil, foil. 
Um, and then we got another energy card, which like I said, I'm not going to show you guys. Um, we got Graveler. I need to get a better camera. Don't worry, guys. It's We already know. Giovanni's Exile, which is a trainer card. Here you go. Normal trainer. Uh, Brock's Grit, which is another training card. We got Brock there. And then that was this pack. Oh my goodness, that one was so delightful. And I'm not even like, I'm, I'm being dead serious. My favorite card though out of this one would probably be... Obviously this one because I just like the colors and it's so distracting to me. But also Ekans, like... Uh, I love reptiles and Ekans is just Gen 1 and just amazing. Not my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, but still, good enough. That was a good, that was a good pack right there. If this is all Gen 1, you're about to see me get from happy to happier to happiest to just in general, just like over, overblown with happiness. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, that didn't pop open like I wanted it to not popping open like I want it to anywhere. Okay. I told you guys you'd see me get happier and happier and happier the more Gen 1 cards I get. Dude, I'm telling you guys Gen 1 is Gen 1 is lit. Okay. We got Slowpoke. <laughs> we got another per uh, Perez. So it's that one. You guys have already seen this one before. We got Charmander. Charmander. Oh yeah. Now, wasn't didn't we just show this card? Yeah, I got another one and it's not even it's not a foil, so it's not like anything like whoa, I got scammed or anything. But we got another um slow poke card. Um so I'm going to try and get this back to being organized here. Um, we got Psyduck again, which you guys saw from the last pack. Oh, this one's a foil. We got this one on the last pack too. This is a training card. It is a foil. Um, Gia Giovanni's Exile. You guys can see the foil there. Ah. Um, uh, this one is also super colorful, and I'm actually happy that I have this card. I had a feeling I was going to get this card, not going to lie. I think I have one similar to this, and it's actually Lugia. Um, but this is Tag Team Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. And this is the like super colorful foil. Oh, it's going to be hard to get this to actually show you guys the birds. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's so like, it's foily. Okay, there might be a lot better. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's awesome though. like that card. That's my favorite out of this pack. Energy card. Um, Misty's Cerulean City Gym, which is a trainer card. Um, another trainer card, which is Brock's Pewter City Gym. Just that. This one is Metapod, but it also has Peaky Peck in the background. I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's Metapod, but like right up there, if you guys can see, is Peaky Peck. Okay. And that was this pack. So the Moltres shiny foil card was probably my favorite. Um, yeah, let's put that over here. I got so many. I can't wait for my husband to get home so I can annoy him and show me, him all my favorite Pokemon cards. That's something I do. I don't know if anybody else does this, but if they get Pokemon cards and they have, like, somebody in their life that they like showing these silly little random shit to, I'm that way. Like, I have got to show you my favorites. 
and I'm sure I annoy him with that. <laughs> Even if he doesn't listen, I'm okay with it. I'm like, hey, this is my favorite, and he's probably just like, uh, okay. This one's not opening either. No. We're doing somewhat good. I mean, I don't know if I was doing good at all at this point. Okay. This one's just like not opening. Maybe if I open it this way. Like a little. Oh god, no. It's just not good. Okay. It opened from the top. We're struggling. We're struggle bussing here. Okay. Ah! Struggle bussing. At least it all fell in my lap for the most part. But now they're definitely all like rambled. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's the way you open Pokemon cards. You just drop them and into your lap and let them fall where they fall. Okay, we got Geodude. Not a foil, just my PC is right in front of my webcam. Or is sitting on top of my webcam. Pikachu. Pika Pika. Pikachu. <laughs> Cubone. Oh my goodness. It's actually a cool art design for Cubone, by the way. Um. Lieutenant Surge's strategy, which is actually a foil. Does anybody else feel weird about getting training foil cards? Just asking. Arbok, which, uh, it's got, um, Jessie in the background, which was, uh, her, like, Pokemon in the anime series. And I believe, like, I don't know if you consider Pokemon manga, but whatever. In little books. Our box is awesome. Energy card, again. Farfetched. Chansey. My dog's just trampling everywhere. There is Chansey, being adorable. We got Brock's Pewter City Gym again. You guys have seen this one. We have Clefairy. Every time I see Clefairy, you want to know what I think of? There's this game called um, Pokemon Stadium, I believe. It's on the Nintendo 64. And there's a mini game section. And there's Clef Clefairy. And all she does is like, she does like this dance thing. You have to like, kind of like, repeat what she does. And she's always like, do, 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 I don't know. I don't know if that's actually the jingle. It's probably not. But that's what I think of. Enjoy me being silly. Um, Jigglypuff. Adorable. Adorable. Jigglypuff is ugh, so cute. And that was this pack, which was extremely difficult to open. Um, favorite was probably Clefairy, because it gave me such a good memory. I used to play that game with my siblings all the time. All the time. Okay, we have one last pack to open, and then we can move on to the big thing. This is already, like, so long. I love getting Gen 1 cards. I don't, I don't think I can say this, like, enough. Um, we got Star You. Oh my goodness. There's Star You. Absolutely love Star You. I love Gen 1. We got Ekans, but in the background, it's Ekans and Articuno. Or, Articuno is in the background, and Ekans just looks, like, so cool. Like, Ekans is like, ah! This giant bird! No! Don't get me! I don't know if you guys can see Articuno that well. But Articuno's in the background. Which I think is cool. 
Um, we got Caterpie again, which is the card you guys have seen in the other packs. Uh, Perez, which you guys saw in the other packs. Charmander, which you guys saw in the other packs. Misty Cerulean City Gym, which is actually a foil. Um, which you guys did see in the other pack. We got Jolteon! It's not a foil, but still. Um, got another energy card. Um, Jinx! With that hella slap there. Um, and then Graveler, which you guys saw in the other pack. Um, Farfetch'd, with you, which you guys saw in the other pack. And yeah. Um, so, favorite card has to be Ekans in this pack again. Just because I like the design that they put into it with Articuno in the back. And Ekans is like, oh my goodness, don't eat me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's what I thought. But that's what I thought. Okay, and on to the final big thing that I bought. I have to grab my bag here. This video is so long. So long. Okay. Again, this is probably gonna- st I don't see any way of me wanting to take this out of the box. And it's got a sticker of how much I spent on it. I wonder if I can- well, you know what? I'm gonna leave the sticker on because I'm pretty sure I leave the sticker on everything. Actually, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. I'll take it off. Because I- now I'm looking at my stuff and I think I actually did start taking things off. So it's a giant speaker, but it's Jigglypuff. I know. I know. You guys can't handle it. I can't handle it. When I bought this, the guy was like, oh my goodness, I was about to get this. It was like the last one. Felt bad, but didn't feel bad at the same time. I was like, Haha, I got it. Uh, sorry, guy at GameStop. But it's a giant Jigglypuff, and it's a speaker. It's a legitimate speaker. See it? Jigglypuff speaker, and it's huge. Um, it's Bluetooth. Um, so it, it says in all caps, MASSIVE SPEAKER, which I thought was funny. Um, there's an auxiliary input, recharge, rechargeable battery, control buttons, high quality sound, license con collectible, it's, um, what's the back say? It says stuff about a speaker. And then says in a different language what the other side said. And then this is just, this is just this. I don't know if I'm going to open this up to see like how the sound sounds. I probably won't. Because I'm some weird person that just likes keeping things in boxes. And all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, that was my haul. I did not think this was going to take like 40 minutes and it did, holy moly. Um, let me know if you guys want more hauls. Let me know if you guys want to see videos of other stuff I bought. Like you guys can see Baby Yoda right there with the Spyro Pop. Like right here is another Baby Yoda. I don't know if you can kind of see him that well. Anyways, I buy a bunch of stuff from GameStop. Let me know if you guys want like me to do videos of like stuff I bought um already um if you want more haul videos uh if you guys want to see me organize my pokemon cards because eventually i'm gonna have to do that it's just it's crazy this is crazy anyways let me know what you guys think let me know what your guys' favorite stuff is and i'll see you guys all on the next one bye guys